close your eyes and focus in on the body, focus in on the breath. Try to find the spot in the body where it's warmest. It's pretty cold outside. First time I've ever seen snow here at Metta. And so you have to compensate. Things outside are cold, you have to make your inside warm. This is an important principle that no matter how bad things may be outside, you've got a counterbalancing force inside. This applies to physical things outside, it also applies to mental things too. When people come at you with anger, you can learn how to come back with peace. They come at you with lust, you can come back with peace. They come back with fear, you can come back with reassurance. There's always something to balance things out. And it's up to us to find that balance. So right now, what's the point of balance against all the cold outside? What's well, the warm spot in your body? As for the anger out there, you realize okay, that there's a lot of anger going around the world right now. Too many people, they say. Not enough things to go around. Or as the Buddha said, you know, even if we had only a few people here, if you, even if it rained gold coins, we wouldn't have enough for people's desires. So again, you have to look inside for something that's really satisfying, something that really can lead to contentment. So that regardless of how things are outside, things inside are okay. And you're not adding to other people's troubles. So you want to take responsibility for yourself. And if anything is out of balance inside, okay, what can you do to bring it back into balance? That's where real wisdom lies. As the Buddha said, you can go off to different extremes, extremes of self-torture, extremes of self-indulgence. That doesn't involve any wisdom at all. You just ramp up the, the energy and you can go for the extreme. Finding balance, though, requires some discernment, seeing where you're out of balance and seeing what you could bring yourself back into balance and what the point of balance is. That requires that you look again and again and again and you try to adjust things again and you try to look again. You try to be observant and you try to use your powers of observation and your powers of ingenuity to figure out what the point of balance is. Without that sense of balance, we can create a lot of trouble for ourselves and the people around us. With that sense of balance, we can help bring a little bit more balance into the world. And at the very least, you've got this source of well-being inside that you can tap into whenever you want. 